Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Supreme Magnificent uh, Super Dragon Ball Edition. Uh, and basically we're going to be taking a look. Uh, you can be Super Saiyan God, SS Goku. Uh, and yeah, I think, look, I think overall uh, he's a singular type enemy. So first you right off the bat, 150 mil health. Uh, 1.7 million super, 600k normals. He greatly raises his attack for one turn on his super, which is something to be aware of. He can fire two super attacks per turn, and he has around a five attack cooldown between his super attacks. He's got a 20% chance to super, and he disables defense reduction, immunity to being stunned, and immunity to being sealed, whilst also disabling evasion, which is a challenge for some teams. In terms of taking out Goku and what exactly you need to bring to the table, we first have to assess uh, the fact that he's a single type unit. So having a just an int type character unit like this, generally speaking, means that bringing physical based units is going to be the best bet for damage, protection, defense, everything all considered. So that's generally speaking what i'd say is the first point of call the next point of call is that you want to obviously bring units that can deal with what he does now lowering attack is something that's very helpful against goku for a variety of reasons the first being that goku himself obviously can have his attack lowered this generally speaking gives goku uh, you know the ability to be contained somewhat especially since he raises his attack on a super attack you want to keep his attack as low as possible this will reduce the overall damage you take and give you the time to build up your units or to take goku out whichever one comes first from a neutral slash team building point of view outside of physical and attack lowering units there's not a lot to really go for here but evasion units are definitely not advisable. The big thing is, the only unit currently in the game that disables evasion is the Tech UI Goku. Now, Tech UI Goku is great, but units like AGL MUI and Strength UI are not going to be too hot uh, against Super Saiyan God Goku, especially in the initial turns. Once you can kind of get that, you know, once you can kind of get that all rolling once you can get like those tech uis to pop their active skills and thus open up the floor to evasion units generally i would say going evasion is just not something that's advisable uh here just because you know ultimately at the end of the day i think like for me if i'm looking at units and everything i would say that you know evasion is more a hindrance than anything. The time gap to get it going, everything like that just kind of leaves you in a vulnerable position. And I think it's more ideal uh, to have units, you know, like Broly, units like Broly Chin Lai Lemo, you know, all of these units that do big damage and have other factors. Now, obviously, Broly Chin Lai Lemo in this team right now is the only unit that relies heavily on evasion. And we do have to consider that, but the type advantage is what made me bring them and the fact that they lower attack and defense. So it's a bit of a trade-off there for them. A unit I found super useful here as well was Beerus. Beerus was pretty helpful for two reasons. One, obviously type advantage, uh, which helps him a lot. And two, creating rainbow orbs. So when Beerus faces a realm of the gods enemy, he creates rainbow orbs, which is actually very helpful just because of the sheer like massive amounts of key that a lot of our units are starting to need especially on the Broly team like they need key like they all want to hit the 18 keys they all you know there's a lot of LRs here so hitting key very important for the Broly team aside from that everything pretty good int legendary Super Saiyan Broly you know carrying the workload doing a lot of damage being very good active skill allowing him to consume up a lot of health and Tech Broly being the perfect first art tank, all really uh, is the good foundation blocks upon which we built this team. Uh, Broly G. Lemo, type advantage, and generally speaking, I'd say everything that we have here works quite well. So definitely give it a try. 
Overall, Goku was pretty challenging. He is pretty challenging as a unit. But I think his um, missions made him harder than he actually is. Um, I think there's a good trade-off with him. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, it for me.